What if we could have one church wherever you are? I think it would be remarkable in its impact. I think it could be stunning in its consequence. When they first started promoting the uh, Elkhart site, it was going to be in a movie theater. It was promoted as you got a seat yet, popcorn and movies. Honestly, I was blown away that so many people who didn't know anything about your background, didn't know me in the least bit, you know, they were so, shall we say, warm and inviting. It was kind of like a family. They're just loving and you felt welcomed and you didn't have to like dress up to go there or um, be in like your Sunday's best, they say, or anything, you could just come as you are. So the minute I walked into the building, I just kind of had no words because I just wanted to look around. The feeling, you just felt something different. It was just really inviting and curious and fascinating. More people have opportunity to exercise great leadership gifts if we have more campuses of ministry. I think my favorite part is just, you know, coming in on Sunday and, you know, feeling home, feeling like, you know, I am, I'm not just a face here, I'm, I'm a story, I'm someone who matters. The people are incredibly loyal and genuine, and um, they are servants. Like, they just will give you the shirt off their back. One of the family members at church, I believe that God put that person in my life at just the right time. And I found a person that actually restored my belief in not just humanity, but also helped me further my walk in Christ. I want people to feel welcome. I want them to feel loved when they're there, and I want them to feel that they're important. Engagement goes way up. Involvement goes way up because they have a community of faith near them where they can gather and serve together and invite their friends together, and they can share their talents and use their gifts together for Christ. Growing up in Elkhart, it was really neat to see a, a church that I could actually relate to and, you know, actually you know, enjoy going to. When you come to Elkhart, it's the same core volunteers and it's pretty close to every service, every weekend, and, and you just get to know them. You develop relationships quick that way uh, because it's it's so much more close-knit, which is helpful. I like Elkhart because it's it's a little more intimate, you know, the sanctuary is a little bit smaller, uh, but it's pretty much the same church, same seats, same pastors, same everything. It's awesome. It's amazing to see the new life and to see how God has taken that building and renewed it for his own purposes. It's just a great place to worship. And Jesus is there. You know he's there when you walk in the door. This is gonna be one church where you are. And we're going to lead and pray and serve and give until everyone knows Jesus Christ is Lord. I grew up in Elkhart, and I've been in Elkhart since the seventh grade. There wasn't a lot of church uh, presence in the neighborhoods around town. It's really brought, in my opinion, it's brought Christ into the community. We're set in a home, like we're, homes are in our backyard. <laughs> and then when you do talk to the new people, you're like, oh, what brings you in? They're like, just in my backyard. We hear your music, we hear you guys outside, and we thought we'd check it out. It's just really cool to see that kind of growth in 10 years. I'm really impressed, especially this year. It seems like, you know, a lot of new faces, but it's really encouraging to see what's happening inside the church. We're getting outside of those four walls, and we're bringing the new faces in. It, it's helped reinvigorate the neighborhood and has helped us become a more vibrant community. It's just great that we're getting the message out, you know, and people can feel, come there and they'll feel welcome. I'm really grateful for these past 10 years in Elkhart, and I hope for 50 more. <laughs>